You know, when I woke up this morning, I thought, ah, oh, rain again. But then I remembered, springtime rain is the magic. The magic right before the change, when everything blooms, when everything buds, and our world comes to life. A little rain brings us a lot of beauty. Beauty is in the opportunity, is in the growth, is in the seed that is planted when the rain and the sun come together and bring beauty to us. Now on that note, opportunity, seeds, beauty, growth, do I have the opportunity, the seed, and the growth potential for you here at this property, 70 Queens Avenue in Mimico. Hello Mimico fans, it's Mimico's favorite realtor and today I have something exceptional for you here in Mimico by the lake on beautiful Queens Avenue, a private street, a non-through street. I got a 40 by 140 foot lot here guys. I got a big bungalow, two plus one bedrooms, two kitchens, two bathrooms, a ton of space, a sunroom at the back, a detached garage with a huge yard all right here. A stone's throw from Lakeshore where I could get my kids down to the splash pad right at the the park right at the public pool and of course right at that lakefront trail I'm a walking distance away from the go train I got TTC just a few blocks away and I have all my dreams encapsulated in one perfect Mimico property I gotta get you inside and show it to you right now let's go coming inside guys right away I'm just kind of taken in by this beautiful bungalow get this gorgeous oak flooring newer flooring throughout the house taking my eyeline right to the back of the property where I'm gonna get super excited. I'll show you in a little bit. Here at the front, we got the perfect foyer. Large closet, we'll get an insert of that. Very rare in the Mimico bungalow because we're a wider property and we're a bigger bungalow, you're gonna get a few extra add-ons that you weren't expecting. Love having that utility right here at the front. Hanger coats, hats, everything tucked away and we have that division as we step forward into our great room space. Now there was a door here, so you could have a French door here with glass panels or something, add a little bit more kind of privacy to that space, but I think it flows perfectly the way it is. Off to my left guys, the formal dining room you've been looking for. I know you bungalow lovers, you one level living lovers have been looking for a formal dining because you want the perfect division to your one level living space. You got it here at 70 Queens. We're gonna take a look at that in a second. Now check out this living room piece. People. Big sectional couch, perfect space in here. Divided space here so you can get your couch and your chair against these walls. You got this double corner window bringing in that natural light. Natural light is the key to this front room here, people. We got two corner windows here. Natural light pouring in from that full length glass storm door at the front and then a big picture window at the front there flooding that dining space, making it feel bright, airy and large in here. Lots of room in here for more chairs, more entertaining stuff. This is that spot for that television. Now, if you have a low back modern sectional or something, it's gonna sit perfectly right here and you can get your 110 inch screen TV directly across from me or put it this way. What I love about this room, which is a throw out to how wide and deep this lot is, is you're getting more of a square bungalow, not a long rectangular shape. So that there's more form and function to every room, every floor, and every facet of this property. Let's check out this dining space. Loving this dining space, guys. We got that same gorgeous hardwood in here. Love this fixture, love the ceilings in here, and of course, that three pane window bringing in the natural light. The side panes open, we get that breeze, and we get that Mimico lakefront cross breeze going right through our house on those summer nights. You gotta love that. One, two, three, four, five, six, cedar in here. Easy to get an eight seater in here, and furniture. You can have a credenza, you can have storage for your glassware and all that stuff. Now, if you're thinking of using this as a rental in the short term, or you wanna do something with the space other than using as a dining room, because you could certainly fit a dining room set in this bigger great space where we have our living room set up, put two French doors on this space and create a third bedroom. That would make this a three plus one and give you ample room for tenants, family members, guests, you name it. Versatility right here in this dining space. Loving how it connects to our living room. 
Perfect division, yet open concept feel. This is key, this is on trend, and it perfectly suits our kitchen. Galley style kitchen, check this out. Nice neutral kitchen in here. Love this raised subway tile backsplash, just classic. Painted out cabinets, nice solid wood cabinets, but giving you that blast of white, that neutralization that opens it up and makes it feel nice and large in here. We got real granite all the way leading to our gas stove. That's right, big cook, a gas stove. Double undermount sink here inside our granite and just tons of storage up and down. And we even have a little eat-in space over here. Loving the natural light coming in. It's a gloomy day, guys. Look at how much light is blasting in here. Really complements the white, makes it feel open. You got a perfect nook over here for your stainless steel fridge. You could totally use this kitchen the way it is right now or reimagine it. We have so much space here in that dining room, connecting through to our living room space. I could see if you wanted something to be a bit of a project, you wanted to open this up, you wanted to add some sweat equity, why not open up this wall, go to the city of course, get your permits, but open up this wall, create an island space, push it in, add a few more modern conveniences, and now you got a home run property you can get super excited about. In the meantime, it's ready to go, it's turnkey, and you can use it today. Plus, it's on one of the biggest, beautiful private lots at all of Mimico right now. You gotta come and check this out. Okay guys, let's take a look at these bedrooms and this bathroom. Big principal bedroom in here, guys. Love this corner windows. Again, because we're more of a square here at 70 Queens, we have these little features like closet space, I'll get to get to that, and like cross windows on both sides where you still have room for your king size bed. That's right, fit a king size bed here, get a dresser over here. There's already room for a dresser or credenza right here so you can see it's ready to go. Right off to my left, there's a full closet and of course, there's just ample room in here. I'm walking on this solid newer oak flooring and I'm loving this room. There's a lot you can do with this room. Move into it today or use it as a blank canvas and reimagine it and make it anything you want it to be. Let's see bedroom two. Loving this room, guys. It's trendy, it's super functional, and it's super diverse. Right now, we got it set up as a kid's room slash office. It also takes us through to our sunroom, which gives us full access to that big, beautiful yard I'm about to show you. Now, don't worry. You do not have to enter this room to get to the backyard. We got that perfect side entrance. It's like 10 feet from the backyard. It's also a separate entrance to our basement. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Go to the city, get a legal basement apartment down there if you should want to. Otherwise, just check out the function here. Love this door. It's classic. It's a little bit of that Mimico nautical theme. Lots of room in here. Easy to get a queen size on this wall or this wall. We got a full closet here. We'll get a little insert of that. And I love how it walks out to this space. Let's take a look at this because I think this could almost become one space. You want a big principal suite. You want to go to the city and get a permit. Take this little section of the wall down and go out. Own this space. Make it part of that big principal suite. Maybe even get another bathroom in here if that's what you're looking to do. In the meantime, it's the perfect rec room slash family room, hangout, sunroom, whatever you want it to be. Mike, shut up and take me outside and show me the room. Let's go. Light, bright, and airy in here, guys, because we're surrounded by windows. We got a similar flooring in here, really warm, reflecting that light upwards. I can see myself sitting in here, enjoying a cocktail in the summer, having a coffee in the morning. If I was a work from home person, you can bet your bottom dollar, this is where I would set up my very own office space. Have that view of my private yard, looking on my detached garage, watching the clothesline, watching my crispy white shirts dry in the sunshine, Oh Lord, I can vision it now. I love this back porch sunroom. So much versatility, you're gonna love it too. Now let me quickly show you this four piece bathroom before I take you downstairs and show you this lower level. So guys, we got our kind of quintessential Mimico bungalow bathroom in here. What I really like about this one is it's light and bright and it's got a couple features that a lot of other bathrooms don't have. One, there's a little bit more spaciousness in here. Two, there's a full closet, which is lovely, kind of a half linen closet, medicine cabinet, big sliding glass vanity here, and we got a nice privacy window in here. Just allows it to feel a little bit bigger than it is and allows it to have more form and function. This is exactly the kind of bathroom you want. Move in ready, use it today, or update it. You know, it could be super funky and fancy if you want to put your own spin on it. Love this bathroom. Now let's get downstairs and see this lower level.
So, that's that separate side entrance. Check this out. Bringing in the natural light, but also, boom, right down to the basement. Locking door here at the top of the stairs, giving us access. Come down through your kitchen, go out to your yard, or come in through the side entrance, down to the basement, get laundry going, throw a turkey in the oven, whatever you might want to do. Let's go downstairs and check this out, guys. Coming downstairs, guys, and whoa! I'm taking it back. It's like a whole other house down here. Full modern kitchen in here. We got our glass cooktop stove. Big window here over our big sink. Nice stainless steel range hood here. Microwave space, lots of drawers. Stainless steel fridge leading us right into a living room space, a family room space, a gym space. Make it what you will. What I love about this lower level, guys, is look at these windows. These are huge, big, bright windows, making it feel safe down here, but making it feel light and bright down here. It doesn't feel like a lower level. I could actually spend time down here, no problem working down here, hanging out down here with that natural light. It doesn't feel like a basement at all. Nice high ceilings, painted out pot lights. It has a real rich feel to it. You gotta come and see it for yourself. Big living room space, tons of room here. Let's not forget, we got a little diner in here. You wanna go to the city, make this a legal basement apartment, you can certainly do that. You wanna use it right now as a nanny suite or for in-laws or something. Guys, it's ready to go. It's got a bedroom and a full bath. Let me show you. Lovely kind of lower bedroom here, plus one, call it what you will. Big double closet over here. Room for the queen size. Big dresser here off to my left. Carpet, nice and cozy at night. Close this, you're gonna sleep like a baby in here. Great little room. This could be a playroom, guys. It doesn't have to be a separate bedroom. It could be anything you want it to be, but it's versatile and it's ready to go. Let's see this bathroom. Big bathroom in here, guys. We got a fan on the shower light so that when you turn the light on in the shower, the fan continuously runs, which is great, keeping the moisture out of the basement. Big window, bringing in that natural light. You can see I'm lit beautifully from the side right now. Big vanity, perfect spot for the throne. Lots of storage over here, love seeing this. This is where the little dresser goes for all your makeup, hair dryer, and all that stuff, perfect. If you have someone down here in the future, they're gonna need that space. But if you're sharing a house like this and you wanna kinda get ready in the morning in your privacy, I can see this bathroom being really on point for someone who's getting ready earlier than everyone else and doesn't wanna wake up the rest of the home. Behind me here, guys, we got a big walk-in shower. We're gonna get some insert to that. Great shower, ready to go. Get squeaky clean in there and get off and take the day. Cause it's all about Carpadium, if you know what I'm talking about. All right guys, you've seen this lower level. Now let me take you outside and show you this detached garage and the big yard I've been going on and on about. Let's go. Oh wait, I almost forgot something. We got a laundry room here off to my right and it's kind of perfectly set up because this door locks and the top of the stairs locks. So this is kind of like a common space. Now like I said, it's not necessarily a legal basement apartment. You need to go to the city if that's what you're interested in doing. But having it set up, having the form here already is gonna be half of the battle. Separate doors, everything, shareable washer and dryer so that you can have your kind of time zones of when you're doing laundry. Otherwise, it's just great to have it here tucked out of the way, use it all the space of this house. And that's one of the things you're really gonna notice when you come to 70 Queens. Wow, this home is really hyper utilized when it comes to using every square inch of the house. They got it bang on. Let's get outside and check out this yard, guys. Coming out our side entrance, of course, we can come out the back entrance, it's up to you. This is gonna give you a shot, guys, of that big, beautiful, private driveway. You do not see these in Mimico that often. You're gonna get one, two, three, four, maybe five spots right here, not to mention there's a garage you can park a car in. What's this worth? I don't know, you tell me, come down and take a look. Now guys, the yard, it starts with a deck. Coming off that back room, if you want to, no problems. You come out here, you're grilling and chilling. Gas line running to our barbecue. I know you grill masters out there, you're drooling right now. You've always wanted one of those. Pop your barbecue right here. It's ready to go off the house. Grill, chill, and enjoy. And look at all this entertaining space here. 
you got room for that large eat out kitchen table with the chairs and the umbrella or the big sectionals or the foosball table, whatever you like. It's up here, it's raised up with the beautiful view of your backyard, privacy of these big pines and this mature growth that you only get in Mimico by the lake. You gotta come and feast your eyes on this, guys. Look at this yard. We got a big house here with a really nice setback. We got a full garage and still look at all this yard. On this portion of Queens, we got extra deep yards. And of course it's 40 feet wide too guys. So it's giving you so much more lifestyle. You're gonna be able to run and play with the kids, let the dogs rip around, have big backyard parties and you're gonna still have room for a massive vegetable garden like this. Not to mention, we got a detached garage sitting right here taking up space but feeling like it's not taking up so much space at all because the yard is so large. I'm not going to take you inside today but the value of having a detached garage like this on this property is exponential guys. Talk to your realtors, call me, I'll fill you in. Not only is this a big detached, come on cameraman, you'll note that it's almost on the property line. If you were to build a newer garage, it would have to maybe be here. You'd have to be almost a meter from the property line in order to have that garage when here we're only a foot. So this is locked in. This would show up with the city and you could almost confirm that if you wanna kinda of rebuild and make a newer garage here, you can start it right here as long as you use the right steps to getting that permit and kind of rebuild it in place. There's a ton of opportunity. Now, let's go out front, talk a little bit more about the value of this house, the value of this location, and why Mimico by the Lake is the number one spot in Mimico. Let's go. So these big sprawling bungalows are rare in Mimico. And why is that? Well, our average lot size is more towards the 25 foot wide by 120 deep. Here, we're way above average with 40 feet of width and 140 feet of depth, guys. It allows this bungalow in the first place to be built really big, but it's gonna give you a lot more opportunity when it comes to what you can do with the property, what you can do with the house for itself. It's big, it's private, and it's what makes Queens Avenue so special on this side of Queens. We kind of have a boulevard style street here where all the properties are set way back. You can see some people's yards are so big they're actually parking in the front of the property because they don't have a big private driveway taking them all the way to the back. You have room here, you have space. You got a gorgeous tree on the front lawn. Now, Mimico by the Lake, guys, is the classic part of Mimico. It's the old growth trees, the wider streets, the kind of more stately homes, and you just gotta come down here and see it for yourself. There is a big difference between Mimico by the Lake and the rest of Mimico. Not that the rest of Mimico isn't awesome, it's just Mimico by the Lake is just a little bit of cut above. You gotta know the difference. Ask me, ask your agent. What I can get to from here is super special. Well, John English School, St. Leo's School, all in walking distance. Lakeshore Collegiate, not far from here. We got a beautiful park all the way past the beaches to the bluffs and a park that takes you all the way to Hamilton because we got that famous waterfront trail. There are beaches, yacht clubs and everything, literally five minutes or less walk from this very step that I stand on here. We got the splash pad, we got ice cream shops, we got bars, we got restaurants, we got the library, a big beautiful public library just down the street, everything right here guys. Walk to groceries, Mimico is undervalued still because people don't yet know what makes it so special, why it's so walkable, and why it's so family friendly. You gotta come down and see it for yourself. I'm gonna stop talking now. All that's left to do is for you to get your butt down here, take a look at this one of a kind property in this tremendous location. Well guys, it's a beautiful spring day. I'm gonna go inside, make myself a hot cup of tea, and walk down to the lake. You? Well, you can get the heck out of here. <laughs>